friends welcome back to my channel i feel like i need to say a long time no see um just because it feels like it's been a while or maybe this past week was just that long uh, we are planning for the month of october and if you are here from my loop giveaway stay tuned for the end of the video because that's when i'm going to tell you about all the fun things you can win um in the loop giveaway uh, that I am doing, that I was supposed to do in September, but that's how September went. In fact, let's look, shall we? Um, we had lots of stuff going on in September and I didn't even write down all of the things that ended up happening. Um, for example, I ended up having meetings, like after school meetings here, and then I got super duper sick. Um, with what I am really positive is food poisoning. So <laughs> that was awesome. So self-care September <laughs> became real important. Um, so yeah, it was just a busy, busy month. Um, you know me, I always try to make light of things because if you don't laugh, you'll cry, right? Um, you'll also notice I'm in a slightly different space, hence some of the shadowing. Uh, the school work that my husband is doing right now he's going to grad school um and it's just this session is a little bit um more involved so since we kind of share an office space I'm in a different room filming so that he can focus on his schoolwork because it's super duper important and I'm just super proud of him there you go just super proud of him anyway so I thought for this month, I would use, you guessed it, Coffee Planner Mom stickers, but that's besides the point. I'm actually gonna use the fall bucket list stickers because I don't really fall bucket list, okay? But what I do like is that they are all fall themed like scripts. So no, I don't actually plan on jumping in leaves or going to a corn maze. Doesn't mean it won't happen. I'm also not a huge scary movie person, but again, it could happen. I do like mums. I've never baked my own pie. Does it count if I get it from the frozen section? I hope so. Um, so, so I wanted to use this and then some, the $50 freebie. This is in the cozy fall and the $25 freebie. I've got some florals around here. I got some leftover pumpkins from um, Gail's freebie and coffee cups and we've just got a smorgasbord of October fun okay we also need to leave space though because October is turning into a pretty involved month as well so there you go so let's put down first of all one of the important things that I just got to keep in mind parent teacher conferences that is happening the 14th and the 19th now uh, one thing, it is also raining cats and dogs right now, bark and meow. Um, one thing that we do at our district or in our school, and I know every school runs things differently. That's important to know, but we do a 30 minute early release and then the teachers stay and do conferences to like seven ish. And then the same thing on the 19th. But because we stay late these two days, um, then we get two days for fall break. If we didn't, then this day would end up being a, f a daytime um, parent-teacher conference. Um, the kids would still get two days. We would not. But we found that we weren't having as many show up on that Thursday because they were either taking off because they could get a long weekend out of it. Which, I mean, who wouldn't? Let's throw that out there. Or because it was only daytime, the working parents couldn't fit this in and we'd only have like one nighttime session. So we found that doing the early release slash stay late to get those things in really ended up benefiting everyone. I mean, it's a long week. <laughs> I won't lie about that. But so that's what we do for parent teacher conferences. Um, the next important thing is we do have an appointment for Mr. Sharpie Dog. And I think I'm going to use probably just a little bullet point here. On the 8th, he has a vet appointment. I 
they have a meeting after school on the 7th. Um, got that fall break. There was one other thing. I'm going to remember it later on. Hmm. Oh, this already happened because I'm filming on the 2nd. But I'm still going to write it down because it was just a happy time. And I enjoyed it so much. We had a... Um, where my husband works, they had a client appreciation event. And so we did a little overnight trip um, and stayed at a bed and breakfast. And it was super nice. It was super fun. It was nice to have a little getaway time. So yeah, I had food poisoning here. <laughs> that wasn't great. Went to school and was better, which was good. And was able to continue because I was so scared <laughs> that I was not going to be able <laughs> to make it to this event that we had already like planned for and all that fun stuff. All right, so I think what we're gonna do, I didn't bring all my accoutrements in here with me, so I don't have my little whiteout stuff or, so we're not gonna worry about it. We are going to first pumpkin spice latte. And then we're gonna put our little pumpkin spice lattes right there. I've already had quite a few. I think this month I'm gonna like do a Friday latte run. Cause I'm worth it. And then what I'd like to do is just kind of, oh, that would be fun. Hang on, just have a thought. Where did the mums go? They were right here. Let's see, can we do like, don't have scissors. I didn't think this through. It's okay, it's okay. Can I get to scissors? Hang on. All right, friends, it is time to MacGyver my planner sticker. This is a fun night. So I'm going to tell you a little story too while we do this. I keep a little sewing kit in this room because it's the only room that's like, well, we have three rooms that are carpeted. Most of our rooms are hardwood floors. So yes, I'm using like the not so great scissors. So I'm doing this part off camera so I can really focus, but I'll tell you the story. Oh no, these work pretty well. Hey, don't get cocky, Holly. Don't get cocky. Um, so we keep a little sewing kit up here because um, this is where Sharpie primarily plays with his toys. So when he plays too rough with his toys and like the stitching comes loose, Holly has to stitch it back together. So that's why I keep a little sewing kit up here. Now, sometimes they are irreparable. Like that is, is just not gonna happen. Um, but I always try to make the toys last as long as possible. Especially like old favorites, like ones that he really loves. Like the llama corn lasted a really long time because Mama Holly would stitch the llama corn up every time it needed it. Llama corn has long since passed. Um, his dinos, he's got his little dinos. Things we do for our dogs, right? All right, that I'll have to clip with a different kind of scissor because that is just too close. I need my extra sharp scissors. And then let's see, can we, I mean, I think that looks really pretty. And then what I'm trying to debate is, can I put you up there or should I put the smaller one up there? the smaller one. Oh, how are you sticking to that? How is that even a thing? Can we do... I think we can. That's good. Let's see what we can do with this guy. Huh. So my plan is with these um, scripts is I'm going to actually put them thought about putting them on the side here but I think what I want to do is actually put them 
one days a month as if I were going to do them. I'm not. Um, I mean, I might, might buy mums. And if I do, that would be. I just want to show you like a way you can use this fall bucket list stuff without it being fall bucket listy. Does that make sense? No, I feel like by mums. I do want to put some like over here. By mums. Fall candles. Uh, maybe this is the better the better route to go. Shut in leaves. So do 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 jumping leaves. Corn maze. We do have some corn mazes around here. Like we we could. We could do that. Oh. What a crazy random happenstance. This actually turned out better than I thought. <laughs> and we'll do pumpkin picking at the bottom. I would like to carve pumpkins this year. We did that our first year we were married. It was a lot of fun. Um, it, it was a lot of fun. So we want to put maybe some... We'll put this on this Sunday. Decorate for fall. I probably don't need to read them out loud to you. But I'm going to, because that's how this is going. <laughs> and I'm having fun. Yay. And watch a scary movie. You know what? I'm going to actually put this down here, but it probably won't be a scary movie. What is my favorite Halloween movie? I have a lot of favorite Halloween movies um, that are not scary movies. Um, put it like here. Since we have to share the 31st. Um, my favorite Halloween movies are Charlie Brown. It's classic, but it does not hold a candle to Garfield's Halloween. If you've ever seen Garfield's Halloween, you'll know what I'm, you'll know what I'm talking about because Garfield's Halloween, it's, the songs in it are hilarious. They... I'm going to put this on fall break, even though I don't think we'll actually carve pumpkin. Again, just because it's on that date does not mean it has to happen there. <laughs> um, the, um, where was I going with that? Okay, let's try that again. The um, Garfield Halloween special is so good. And I, I'm sure the reason why it's not shown anymore is because, like, they say words like shut up and that's not considered for when you're talking about children's television appropriate anymore but i also want to be like dude do you know what some of these kids have been watching pretty sure we can say shut up um but i'm gonna put this up here because the bed and breakfast we went to had a fire pit huh there we go um so, I love Garfield's Halloween. What'll I be? There's so many sides to me. I'll probably get dinged for that one. Thanks, YouTube. But it's fine. Um, and then I really like uh, Young Frankenstein. Which is not scary. But it's funny. Um, so those are those are the type of Halloween movies. So when I say this, I'm, I really mean Halloween movies. I used to be like a suspense watcher, like Silence of the Lambs and um, those those type of suspenseful movies. That's not really my jam anymore. I think I've just lived a little too much life. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm good. Don't need that kind of stress in my life. Do I want to add a few more coffee things? Oh, little coffee pumpkin spice lattes. I think we can. We got some little ones. No, those are too icony. Put that back. Let's 
Dear. I have another coffee quote here. Oh, but I also have. Is that what this word? No, that's a little too summery. No, not that. Oh, maybe this. Okay. Maybe the but first coffee. Oh, we got first pumpkin spice. That's just silly, Holly. Don't do that. Today's Good Mood is sponsored by coffee. So I like I like funny Halloween movies. Garfield. I apologize for the incomplete sentences this evening. Or whenever you're watching this, I guess I should say. fun something different so before we close out oh now I remember the thing but I have spots for it so I signed up for a professional development and it's live zooms or their classes you can do them anytime so I think what I'll do is I'll just mark them off as I go there you go that worked <laughs> okay so the giveaway um for the loop giveaway so what you are going to do on this video is, if you want to enter for the loop giveaway, is like and subscribe and comment below what your favorite thing about fall is. What is your favorite thing about fall? Like, subscribe, what is your favorite thing about fall? And then in the description, it tells you where to head next. Okay, the description tells you where to head next, as well as the instructions for loop giveaway, just so you know. So for this loop giveaway, I wanted to give you some of my favorite self-care items. Like I said, this past month has been a little interesting. I meant to do all of this in September and it just didn't work out. So we're getting it done right here at the beginning of October, okay? So number one is stickers. I am going to be giving you a sheet of the fall bucket list that I just used in my planner, as well as this is the autumn deco sheet. I did not use this one, um, but I wanted to give you some more leaves, pumpkins, and the trees to kind of play around with, especially if you're a person who um, hasn't played around with stickers and planners and things like that. This could be your jam. I'm here to help you with that. <laughs> then I've been really loving the color street nails that I've been getting. I wanted to share some with you because they are making me, this sounds silly, but they make me feel pretty, which makes me feel good. So these are the French tips that I have on now, but I really like just a solid, like kind of neutral pink. This one is, what are you? Himalayan salt. And so I thought that would be a great one for anyone um, to use. So there's Color Street nails. Then, one of my favorite fragrances is eucalyptus. And y'all know I'm Pink Zebra Lady. Um, we have a line called Super Clean. And in Super Clean, there is um, hand sanitizer. And these are the mini ones. And this is Rejuvenate, which is eucalyptus and evergreen, which is perfect going from fall into winter. And it just has this nice, uh, this just really nice scent. And then the last thing is, because it's October, the, a full jar of caramel pumpkin swirl. Um, so these are soy wax sprinkles. You can put them in your warmer um, and they are just gonna make your house smell great and just ready for fall. So these are the items you could win. So remember to click like, subscribe, and comment in the comments your favorite thing about fall. And then again in the description is the rest of the instructions so you know what to do next. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more of my videos and listen to me ramble on about ridiculous things, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you all in the next one.